If you had to go back 10 years, would you give yourself any career advice? Think about the endless possibilities that we have now. Stay engaged, stay focused, and then do whatever we wanted to do. So there is no limit. I know that you no, know, we always fail, but uh, the failures are the stepping stones. So. Tell me then, so if you had to say your favorite feature of Adobe Experience Manager, could you pick one? Maybe there's a top three that you- I, I cannot pick one actually, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Experience fragments, dynamic templates, and AEM forms. Any other advice you can share? I'm sure you have a lot. <laughs> it's like a whole book. <laughs> How much time do we have? <laughs> AEM is a platform where you can dance, where you can sing. Just try to, you know, leverage AEM and, and see, you know, if you can meet those requirements. If Even if it is not, then let's try to, you know, build some customizations on top of what AEM offers. Try to, you know, customize so that it meets our needs. I mean, when I say dance, it is a stage actually, right? So it, it is giving us an opportunity to showcase your talent, your skill set, show to the world that, you know, hey, you can build this fantastic, beautiful websites using AEM, right? Or using other Adobe Experience Cloud products. From my perspective, it is giving us multiple superpowers. We need to just start using those powers to build experiences for the customers.